Hey everybody, this is Brent, the EdTech Principal from EdTech.tv. One of the questions I always seem to get is, what do I do when I don't have a smart board? And in response to that, uh, one of my most popular videos has been how to turn your iPad into a smart board. But the problem is that I was leaving out a large group of people, and those are the people that are not Apple people and have maybe an Android device, but they don't have an iPad or an iPhone. And so I was really happy to find the latest update to the Chromecast, uh, which is the device that Google developed to plug into a TV or into a projector, has a new function, which is that you can plug it and play it right off of your device, your Android device anywhere. So we can play around, as long as you have an Android device and a Chromecast, which is the uh, little icon, uh, the little dongle I'm showing you right here, then you can do it. Um, so the question is no longer a question, and today we're going to take a look at how to turn your Android device into a smart board. Let's get to it. In order to turn your Android device into a smart board, you're going to need a couple of things. Number one, an Android device. So today we'll be looking with my uh, Nexus 7. Number two, you're going to need the Chromecast uh, HDMI input for your projector. And three, you're going to need your projector. Now in today's example, I am at home and I'm not using a projector. I'm going to plug it right into a TV, but everything should be the same. In order to run a Chromecast properly, you do need to have an HDMI port on the back of your projector. If your projector doesn't have that, don't buy it because you can't use it. You also need a USB port. This is what charges it and runs the energy. Uh, your projector may not have it. My TV does have a USB port, but your projector might not, in which case you'll just have to run a cord out to a plug um, and plug it in that way. So all you do is just plug them in directly. and you're good to go. So once you've downloaded the Chromecast app, you're gonna go right into it, and it'll find uh, the Chromecast itself that you have available. So in this case, we're gonna click on Living Room. It'll connect to it and make sure that everything's okay, which we are. Then you're going to click on Cast Screen. It's going to ask you to connect to your vice, device, and the only device I have available is the uh, living room device. So as soon as I do that, you can see that I have it displaying on the screen up above. Now when you have this connected to your projector in your classroom, it'll be the same thing. When we click back on the home button, we can see everything is here available to us. And as most projectors and TVs are based on widescreen and not on the portrait setting, you just turn it sideways. Oops. Just turn it sideways and it'll turn sideways with you. So, um, here you have all of your regular options for using your your tablet here, uh, you might want to bring up a Kindle, for example. If you want to read a book, you could do that. Um, probably not going to want to read a whole book with the class, but you might be able to project something up on the screen. Um, you have options for everything that's out there, like all of your regular apps as normal. Maybe you'll want to draw a whiteboard on some sort, so uh, you, know, you can just get whatever app you want. Uh, I'm not going to make recommendations for apps right now. I'm still learning a lot about Android apps and all those things. But the point being, you can do this now and you can project really easily. You can have all of your information up right there on your screen for your students to take a look at. Um, 
and, and now you have it. You have a smart board in your classroom based off of your tablet, projected up on the wall, easy for everybody, and a really great addition to your classroom. So that's it, everybody. Short and sweet. Uh, the homework for today is going to be just as short and sweet by a Chromecast. Uh, I'll have a link to it on the page at edtech.tv. Uh, you can next download the Chromecast app. I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, it's probably because you want to work with an Android device. So just go download the Chromecast app. It's free. And then plug and play. It's really nice that it's so easy to set up. Uh, you know, you can just write, run right away with it and see what happens. And, you know, then you can start downloading your own apps and figuring out what's going to be useful for you and for your class. Thanks again, everybody. I am Brent. You can find me on Twitter at EdTechPrincipal. You can find me on YouTube at EdTechPrincipal as well and on Facebook at EdTechTV. Uh, really looking forward to seeing how people might start using this. So shoot me a message if you try it out. I'd love to hear from you. Hope all's going well and I will talk to you soon.